This episode has been brought to you by Babbel, the number one learning app in the world. Due to recent events, it'd be right to assume you have countless hours of free time. I suggest you may use this time wisely to perhaps learn a new language. Yep, that's right, folks. What makes Babbel special slash better compared to other apps or learning methods is that it makes you learn about situations you will actually encounter in real life, which makes it pretty handy. You can use on desktop or mobile, and its clean and interactive interface makes it really easy to pick up. Because we know you love history and geography, we've partnered with Babbel to bring you a special offer. For a limited time, if you sign up using our exclusive link below, you'll get 50% off for six months. Now that's a good deal if you ask me. Wait, wouldn't it be a little ironic for America to be encouraging people to learn new languages? <laughs> of course I can speak many languages. For instance, I'm basically fluent in American, Canadian, Australian, and New Zealander. Who are you, anyway? I'm Wales. No, not those kinds of Wales. You see, I'm part of the United Kingdom, but I'm not England. <laughs> well, that doesn't matter. Download Babbel now. Ah, Tower Bridge. It seems the most beautiful sceneries can only be found within our vast empire. Yet so many mistake it for London Bridge. May I ask what time it is? Let me check. It's 1400. You know what that means? It's tea time! Yeah, about that. We've run out of black tea. The Chinese government just keeps on adding more and more trade restrictions. I, they wouldn't let any Europeans trade except in the single city of Canton. Not to mention that the tariffs they impose are completely mad. As I gathered, our deficit of black tea is a matter of the utmost urgency, which we will have to solve right away. We shall voyage to the east and attempt to negotiate. Let's go! I haven't had any tea in a long time. Why would they make such a fuss about tea? I mean, our local cuisine's the greatest. Yeah? Which one would you like to have for dinner? This must be the place. The Qing Dynasty or just China? Look at all this! They got silk, porcelain, and the black tea we desperately crave. We would make millions of pounds if we could freely trade with these guys. But of course, their government don't like us Europeans very much. That's because they're only scared of us. We shouldn't hold ourselves back. Let's try to get something out of here. Greetings, soon-to-be customers. May I interest you with some of these exotic European goods? We take great pride in... <laughs> Why would we need any of that stuff? We're a vast country and can provide for ourselves with no issues. We got everything we could ever want. We've come with the purpose of acquiring some black tea from you. I might accept silver in exchange for the tea. Oh, do we have silver? For our misfortune, we only have gold. Well then, I guess we won't continue the trade then. We could give you anything, just allow us to demonstrate. If it's not silver, then I'm not interested. Well, this certainly is a problem. But, oh, I've thought of something. May I wonder what it is? Well, uh, Britain, I need you to continue expanding our empire while I manage this myself. Yeah. Of course. Your wish is my command. I shall return with yet more colonies for our glorious empire. As discussed, the voyage of the HMS Beagle will carry a notable naturalist named Charles Darwin. I believe he'll continue developing his proposition that all species of life have descended over time from a common ancestor. Make sure to give the crew a warm welcome. Okay, but just to clarify, they won't try to colonize the Galapagos Islands, right? I can assure you that they only come with the purpose of studying the colorful wildlife present on this beautiful archipelago. Hence, you don't need to worry. May you remind me what your name was? Um, it's Ecuador? Ah oh, yes, Ecuador. It's been quite charming meeting you. Maybe we meet again. Huh. What a nice guy. Imagine being colonized or invaded by Britain at any point in your history. I'm too good for that. 
when I heard a joke, well, there are no penguins in Britain, because they're afraid of whales. <laughs> oh, forgive me for being too direct, but why are we making narcotics again? Well, thanks to them, we've got tons of boxes of tea now. I've missed you so much. <clears throat> it was all part of the plan. We would sell these to the Chinese in exchange for silver, which we would then use to exchange it for tea. Does Britain know about this? No, and he doesn't need to know. We're getting tons of tea and money. This is all that matters now. Blimey! Is that tea? Yes, we've sold the silver deficit issue. But how was your trip? Did you colonise the Galapagos Islands? I'm afraid I didn't. I consider that doing any harm to the place this channel's owner is from, after capturing our gloriousness, would be a tad unfair. What? I don't know what he's talking about either. It seems the, uh, the Chinese want to see us. I shall accompany you if you don't mind. Oh, not at all. You! Do you have any idea what you've just cost me? Millions of people are under the influence because of you! I'm completely unaware of what you're talking about. Leave him alone. We're not doing anything illegal, being that we're selling our product on our side of the border where it is completely legal. If there's some people that may want to smuggle it to other countries, then it is beyond us. Ah! You will pay for this! As we speak, I've had thousands of boxes of your products confiscated and then reduced them to ashes! Those were worth millions of pounds! That's rubbish! From now on, you are not allowed in! The only thing you've bought is trouble! I will order a blockade to prevent any of you who get in or out! This is utter madness! We ought to do something. Britain, China is clearly violating everyone's trading freedom, and we need to rescue our citizens who were trapped under the blockade. I say we call the Royal Navy to aid us. I may not know exactly what's going on, but it will be carried out, ma'am. I will not forgive you for this! Go, Royal Navy! Trust me, it would be wise for you to surrender. That's correct. They say we rule the waves because our Grand Navy's the most technologically superior on Earth. If you think I'll give up that easily, then you're mistaken! Alright, that's the cue. Huh? Oh, why do I hear music? You win! Marvellous! Our surrender terms include the following. The island of Hong Kong shall be ceded to the crown of Great Britain. Five ports shall be opened along the Chinese coast for European merchants to freely use. And we also require you to pay us war reparations. War reparations? Uh, I was just defending myself! Well then, I shall play Rule Britannia again. And we'll see what happens next. <sighs> I'll sign the treaty. Hong Kong, right? From now on, you should be under our jurisdiction, which is an excellent opportunity for you. You should be called the Pearl of the East, and our beautiful Union flag shall fly over this island for many years to come. We shall bring many contributions to shape this island into a fine British colony. Alright everyone, thank you so much for watching my animation, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to praise our voice actors who have done a wonderful job as always. For this month's fan art, as you can see, we have multiple entries which look really amazing. 
Which, by the way, if you want to submit your own fan art, make sure to do it through my Discord server. Its link should be in the description below. And by the way, this is my new outro thingy, and I hope you guys like it. Yoshi, the guy who voices America, helped me with the outro, so big thanks to my pal here. And thank you, Babel, for sponsoring this video. I actually tried a little bit of German, and so far, so good. Anyway, that's all I gotta say this time around. Catch you on the flip-flop. Do people actually say that?